Hello fellow tubers, this is Kieran and welcome to this week's tutorial. We're taking a look at this little combo. It involves a few more spins and turns. Something a little different again from my regular style. So let's get into breaking this down. Please leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. Stage 1, what you're going to do is perform pushes. So you're going to perform 2. So with a push what you do is start at the bottom of the ball with the inside of the foot. Push it through as if you're doing a fake pass across your body and then on the second as you bring it back using the sole then on the second one do a slight skip forward. From there perform a sole roll forward, step down from the ball and catch with your back foot. After you catch it with your toes uh, then perform a turn switching into the sole. So in stage 2 what you're going to do is release the ball from the sole, step back down and then bring your other foot across and grab, grab it with the toes and release it across your body and catch behind again with the toes of the weak foot and then perform the same step down again with a slight turn and, and catch from your front foot again your strong foot with the toes and then from there release the ball sidewards again but this time instead of catching hop and skip round the ball in like a scissor motion with, your, with the legs crossed. So stay three is pretty simple from there as you perform that little step over uh, scissor type motion grab the ball and perform a V so drag the ball back and use the toes to flick it around the weaker leg and then perform a scissor as it comes around that weaker leg perform a scissor and then go into the buka aka or the scissor aka as it's better known from there with a basic tap across your body with your big toe and then tap it out with your little toes uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, um, it's something that adds a few more turns and a little bit different from my usual regular style as well, but if you have please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe and be back next week for another Ground Moves tutorial.